All right, YouTube, we're coming back for round three of the Modern Challenge. I am one and two, lost, got pretty much got wrecked by blue-white control in the last round. So pretty much got to win out. If I win out at top 16, if I win, lose one more and win out, I have a chance to top 32, I think. I think that's how it'll work out here from this little, little website I got going on here. But hopefully we can get going there. I think I made a mistake sideboarding my last match. Like, I just, I even though like I think I need them, I need to leave these out of my deck against like the blue white field of ruin decks. So my opponent just field of ruin my godless shrine, and I just couldn't do anything. Or I need to play a second green source, a second white source, which I don't really know how to play a second white source without just completely messing up my mana base. Uh, Brendozer, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Sweet. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. Like it's not great, but we have some interaction. All right, that's probably one of our better draws. If we find another fetch line or street race, I can turn to Death Shadow it. I would not want to find another street race though. Or the land. But I find that the street wraith would be much better. Alright, so we're going to have a target for our fatal push, unless this guy's playing boggles, which. If he's playing boggles, we actually have a decent chance because we got this Liliana. Oh. What do we got? That's dead. Yeah. Just like a collected company deck. Kind of sucks that my Liliana is not going to be very good against this deck. Right, let's get Watery Grave. It's a pretty good draw. This means that, like, we can answer their next thing and then start going up with our Liliana if we need to, just to kind of turn our cards into resources. It is not good that we haven't drawn a discard spell though, because they probably have like some collected companies sitting in their hand, which are going to be difficult to handle if we don't get to them preemptively. I hope to God this isn't a voice resurgence. We get anything but a voice resurgence. That's kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Birds of Paradise Thalia adds it. So I'm gonna ditch this swamp, I think. Just being more mana efficient. Get my death shadow a little larger. Playing this Liliana on an open board should be pretty decent. With an edict waiting and a little bit of a little bit of gas to come back with. Kitchen Finks will kind of suck, but I'll probably just go up if it's Kitchen Finks. Looks like Kitchen Finks. Yeah, we're just going to go up. Unless we judge A's. I might as well just ditch this guy on the shrine. It doesn't do anything in game one. It's just like a it's just a swamp that hurts. We are gonna be in this trouble to like like a collected company is gonna not be good here. Yeah, so they have another company. And I've gotta play this fetch land out in order to have this Liliana or have this Death Shadow effectively defend my Liliana. So there's just like the door is wide open on a company. Of what he should do right now. Wow.
this I have to make I'm gonna fetch shock so that I don't get punked by a walking ballista. Okay. So we're gonna try to hit a vizier. But if you don't hit a vizier, this just sucks. Yeah, this seems weird. So now I can just get this tapped. Yeah, that seems like an odd, just an odd timing there. So I think I'm gonna attack. I'm okay trading both of these for this Death Shadow. And then I can edict the rest of his board away and then play another shadow. If he just like takes it, then I'll play a shadow and tick up and get his last card. That's all right too. Ronus, okay. Then if we draw like a fetch land, we still don't kill them, I guess. But now this recruiter flips. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna block this recruiter as it's part of the combo. Yeah, dude, so just toss your toss your dudes in there. I guess I still could get got by a walking ballista here, which would kind of suck. Eternal Witness would also kind of suck. Renegade Rallyer sucks too. This is two or less, right? This doesn't get back, thank God, it doesn't get back this Ronus. So I think what I might just do is just start edicting. Like, and just start trying to turn this Liliana into like cards. That's not like terrible. Let's get rid of something. I think I'm just gonna crash with both. Like I'm okay if, if they want to attack this Liliana in there. Though I could just make him use a card. Like if they want to get after this Liliana, I basically like yeah. I'm gonna make it so they have to. If they want to kill my Liliana, it's gonna cost them one of their two creatures. I do want to start progressing the game. I don't want to give it to them for free. Because either they don't attack, I get another creature next turn. And again, if they want to trade two, then that's fine. Yep. Yeah, sure. What is it? Here. We have a guest appearance from the, on stream from the boss. So let's hope they don't find a whatever the dumb card is. Oh, it is nice that this flips. It should activate. Okay. All right. All righty. I'm just going to eat this. Or eat it again and attack them. We have their first really important spell covered. Opponents shouldn't attack. They should just make it so this. If I want to sack this, I get one of their devoted druids off the battlefield, which I'm probably just going to do. Like this isn't doing a lot. I am going to play this though, so that they do have to chump. And I think I'm just going to go in with everything. They can't one, two, three. Like they're not going to be able to walking ballista for three 
to kill me because they're going to have to chump away some of their creatures. They either have to chump away power or they have to chump away mana. So like a Ballista doesn't kill me. I've got Stub for the first play. They've got to block at least one of these. So the board is going to get much, much cleaner. Wow. This is just... I got a watery grave left. Unless I ditched it, which I don't think I did. Yeah, this is just not exactly how it should have been drawn up, but I guess we are on the wall. My opponent's just struggling. Um, yeah, now I'm just gonna get rid of one of these. So they have to draw a chump blocker or they're dead. Yeah, it's not necessarily a super great play, but maybe, maybe they're new. Don't play a lot of modern. It is whatever. Yep. Okay, so against company decks. Excuse me. Against company decks, I want my brutalities, I want my stub, I want my tendrils, and I want my last hope. I don't want veils. I like to cut some Inquisitions, and I'll cut my Jace's, but I probably, Jace is going to like, if we get to that point in the game where we're both just like dirtling out, Jace is really good, but they also like, we're bringing in so much more removal that I think I'm tempted to leave Jace in, because like we're bringing in so much removal spells in the early game that we're just looking to trade, 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 trade and then clean up. But, now I probably should just like, be an adult. I'm gonna go like this. Cut the godless shrine, bring back in an inquisition. This is the right thing. I wanna play with Jace, but this is probably the, the right thing to do. Stub sweet, because it hits both company and cord. They're probably gonna board into paths. Yeah, I gotta ship this hand. If this was a green source, I'd think about it, but. This hands better. So we get, if we keep this on top, we have one, two, next draw step is three. We get three looks at a land. And this is like potentially very good. I think I'm gonna keep this on top. I think we're gonna be a little greedy. We've got three looks at a land or a traverse. And we have plenty of redraws. We got six redraws out of there. So we have 10 plus 17. We have 27 either actual lands, redraws, or traverses. And the fatal push hitting here on like a bird is pretty important. And we get to look. Bird is the word. I'm gonna keep a land, I'm gonna shuffle everything away that isn't a land. That is not a land. Gonna get an overgrown tomb because it lets us cast all our spells and traverse. When in doubt, when you're playing shadow decks, your first land should always be overgrown tomb. Land. Yeah, nice. So now we're just gonna play Karma Waves and Smack. Until our opponent said enough. That is another land, which is good. That's gonna be able to get us water grave. So if we draw a Death Shadow, we can go like Watery Grave, we can go Fetch Shock, Thoughtseize, Death Shadow, which is a pretty productive turn. Hit something annoying like a Kitchen Fanks or a Renegade Rally or a Voice. If not, we'll just still fetch and then we'll just play Tarnal Voice for the rest of the game. And bring the beats. Yeah, that's, that's a little scary. I'm gonna fetch. Unfortunately, I might have to just like dot seeds because like whatever that is kills me if they untap. If they untap and have it exactly. The problem is if I don't get my Tarmor Voice, they can also collect a company. Oh, this feels so bad. But I think I'm gonna be an adult. Nice.
we take this vizier and this eternal witness definitely gets back the vizier so it's probably the best thing to do at least we're pinning making it so this eternal witness is clunky i guess they can still just do it all but they have to tap out they don't have any mana because this makes two two three four five so i can just get it back but at least we like figure out exact we know exactly what they're getting back as long as they're returning a removal spell which would suck there was nothing good to Thoughtseize there, which, you know, is bad. That's why sometimes these Thoughtseize, sometimes they're not good. Hopefully we draw a Fatal Push, though. We got three left in the deck. Collective Brutality would be good. Death Shadow would be good. Really on the Last Hope would be pretty good. Because I can Last Hope this thing. To draw the piece. A hierarchy. Oh, we're gonna be able to start townshipping too. Play your bird, dude. Alright. We're dead. Be right back. Okay, they just passed. All right. It's not bad. We'll probably try to react to something. Wait for like a cord or something to kill this. Probably the devoted druid as it makes mana. I should have played my fetch land just in case I want to push a three drop. As soon as he goes to put a counter on this, we'll get rid of it. Though I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I mean, I can't interrupt this in any way. So I should have upkeep killed that. That was my. I wasn't thinking. I was still settling back in. I should have pushed this on their upkeep. I should just auto yield to this because I, I can't I can't interrupt this. Yeah, I was settling back in and made a mistake here. I should have pushed this in their upkeep. Because if they just randomly drew. There's a cord. I think it's still just, yeah, I definitely should have done this because there's no way I can interrupt this. They can just make infinite mana right now. And we'll just F6 through this. Yeah, this was all my mistake. Settling in and frigged up, that's just unfortunate. Because now they just get Ronus and then make one of their creatures massive. I 
I guess the creature doesn't get trample, so he has to do it to both. Right? Oh, the game's trample too. I mean, dude, just. I think that's enough mana. Maybe they had this the whole time, or they have another one. This isn't why they were waiting. I couldn't understand why they were waiting. Yeah, I would toss this one. I mean, I'm not going to concede. Like, there's a chance that. Like, I, I gotta see the win condition first, and then I'll scoop it. Like, I'm not gonna make him pump his creatures, but I am gonna make him, like, show me that there's a card in your deck that wins you the game. I mean, maybe he's going to get, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna get a drink while he's dirtling. Keep it the same. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to play with the draw. <clears throat> I do think that these decks are going to fall by the wayside, though. These collected company decks. Because how, how is this collected company deck? Like, you already struggled against those blue, white, red control decks. Unless you're going to, like, you couldn't beat those before Jace. And now that Jace is here and is more popular, I just don't see how you bring. How does Collected Company make it, you know? We'd have won that game if I would have, have been all about my wits. X9329 and Friend Dozer, thank you very much for the follows. I appreciate the support. All right, we'd like to play first. This guy's very good. We have a Brutality, in Inquisition, Tarnwolf, in good shape. With a hand like this, I want to strip their one drop, be able to play my Tarnwolf, and then hit their Divine Drone. So I'm going to fetch first, because that's going to happen regardless. That's a good draw. All right, so we take the Hierarch, play our Tarn Wife, and then hit the Devoted Druid. And then we just kind of like, hopefully goif them out of the game. They can still play Vizier, which kind of sucks. But, I wonder why he didn't lead with, because you think you want to get Temple Garden with that. But I just screwed up his whole fetching sequence. Unless they drew another land, which he could have. But yeah, see, now he can't play his thing. Welcome for the pristine ability of cleaning things. Okay, so I think I'm gonna want that thought seize just because many of his like this is a company stuff. We can we can get a creature next turn. We're just gonna nug this and then get in there and hold up this stubborn denial. Really hope he doesn't. Eternal Witness me next turn. And then just kind of play a little bit of a Delver game. Just, we should be able to get in again. 
I'm one and two, Nate. It's been rough. It has been rough so far. I beat uh, I beat a Rally the Ancestors deck, lot, punted to humans, and then got savaged by blue white control. What is this? Is this another? Don't be another druid. Okay. All right, that's a good draw too. So now I can thought seize and attack him because there's no way that, or we can go thought seize. There's no way he can kill me next turn because the devoted droid has to be non summoning sick. And it's a good turn. It's a good window to just get a second time to wipe down. We definitely want to take the kitchen finks because kitchen finks plus vizier is a combo. Our opponent does have a few, like a lot of draws that do kind of like get us though. You might want to just go block chump scry, which means I probably should have thought seized after attacking. Yeah, that was stupid on my part. But we are just going to start mowing through his creatures. We want to draw like a last hope. Yeah, that was my fault. Let's see where he goes. He put a card on the bottom. Yeah, so we're just gonna play another Tom Wife. And then we're just gonna Just gonna get him. Get him there with two two big boys. I'd like to find another bobble. A bobble just to make it so these stubborn denials are turned on for later in the game. Okay, so that's what they drew. So they have a vizier and a godless shrine in their hand. We should be in good shape, I think. Bobble will be good. I just want to turn on my. I just want to turn on delirium. Now I wish we had Jason or. But at least now I can double stub something if I need to. Like my opponent plays around regular stub. For sure, coffee. It's fetching first, not to mess the scry up, which is good. We just don't have a very big clock, which kind of sucks. Like that's what we're looking for. We just wish we had a bobble or something. Like this is where Jace would be nuts. I just take it. That's, all right. I I do like Jund. I do like Jund a bit, but I think there's another deck that's. It's like why why play Jund when you can play Jace? Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep this uncracked because it, it's gonna help if I find a bobble I can scry. We know that this last thing is a godless shrine, so there's no sense in getting them. Yes, sir. Check out the Stream Decker. Unless you're on mobile. I don't know if you can look up Stream Decker on mobile. So if they find a kitchen thing, so I'm actually like dead. Because they just gain a million life. Put a card on top. That's going to be so sad if this is a kitchen fix that they put on top. Don't be a kitchen fix. Don't be a kitchen fix. Well, the kitchen fix had already been in play. Again, I'm not going to crack this because we can't play around the first. Uh, we can't. Uh, we don't have ferocious, so we can't negate like a company. Nice part about this is they have to chump, 
So we're gonna like counter their first thing, which breaks up their combo. So now there's no one draw that gets us, I don't think. They should have played their land. Because now they go like block here. They probably block with this, because even if they draw Kitchen Fink, this is infinite chump blockers. But I guess they can't they still have to chump away with their Tarmogoy. They have to chump the Tarmogoy with both creatures next turn. Yeah, we got we got him in the abyss. There's not much more that our opponent can do here. Double chump, okay. Two scries. <coughs> I'm gonna play another fetch land in case they do something weird. Where like I don't know. Something where they respond to my first fetch land. Just make it so that can happen. There's no real need in doing this, but put a card on the bottom. But I think it just makes it so they can't. We got them no matter what. Kitchen things would be pretty annoying because it's just two. It's two blockers. Yep. Yeah. All right. Two and two. We're we're back on the winning side. But yeah, here's what we're doing. We're running to go grab a drink. Just see my wife for a second. All right. Yep, Jace the Mind Sculptor, man. Yeah, dude, it's up there. It's the most expensive card on Magic Online at the moment. I guess I might as well jump in here. I'll go to the play lobby. I'll play a play a two personer. Just kind of dirtle around here. Do don't do anything that's really of any consequences. <clears throat> okay, I would like to play first. Yeah, we can keep this. I'll cycle my Street Wraith first before I do anything. I get to play two Death Shadows next turn. And then Liliana, so we should be able to coast out of this game pretty pretty easy peasy. Hopefully it's in the stub. And my opponent plays like an Ancient Stirring, so I'm playing like Bantel Draws or whatever.
Okay, well, this is going to get much more difficult. We're going to fetch no matter what, because it's the only thing that allows us to get two Death Shadows in the play. Let's go get another Water Grave. Oh god, there's not even two Death Shadows in my hand. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy, ladies and gentlemen. We're two and two there, Nilla. We are on the struggle train a little bit. Oh god, just like killed my ears there. I thought there was the entire I thought there were two death shadows. Oh, oh no. I've seen this all play out before. Here comes a three mana. Here comes the Arch Druid, a Devoted Druid. That's also pretty bad. Check out what you're doing here. So I encounter this, I encounter the next one too. So let's just take the Azuri. Though they almost can, they can just sack, they can just flip Ormondal next turn, I think. Wow, that's sick. Yeah, they can just flip their Ormondal if they want. Sack five creatures, yeah. But I mean, then we only go to one. And we get to eat it. Kill them. Root. Dude, just go all in. Sack your, sack your five dudes. The jewel wins with you, okay? How's your day going today, Nella? Oh, I should stop recording.